Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have Jay Leno's garage vehicle wash. This is empty. Um, just used less of it. So I diluted it right here into this phone cannon. I put about 100 mils, so it's right here at the bottom is the product. The rest of it at the top is water. And then I left about, I want to say another 100 to 200 mils to the top. That's just air. So I'm going to show you around the truck right here. This is my 2012 Xterra. I'm going to give it a wash today, so I'm going to foam it up first. Then I'm going to rinse it off, show you what the pre-wash looks like, and then I'll use it as an actual actual wash, and we'll show you the results. Some quick things real quick. So this Jay Leno stuff, you can buy this at AutoZone. Has it, you can also buy it online. But this stuff smells amazing. If you like cherries, the smell of cherries, this is an amazing smelling product. And I have used it before because that's how the bottle's empty, but I've never done a review on it. The last time I used it was a few months ago. So I don't know, remember exactly how well it did. I have various other shampoos to use on my cars. So this got to the back of the line. And also it's because it comes in such a small bottle. I usually like to mine my stuff by the gallon because it's cheaper in the long run to do that. But let me show you around the truck, show you the dirt. And then let's do a pre-wash and then we're going to do a real wash. And then that'll be it. So we go around the truck right here. You can tell it's been about a month so the grime up in there all the way around so I'm hoping this wash can just you know start picking up some of this stuff off so that way is the less you know the less you touch a car the better obviously you gotta get stuff like full get that off but this truck does have 320,000 318,000 miles to be exact well, 318,308 miles, if I'm being really honest. So, again, down here is where the real dirt is. It's a good overview of how it looks. This one, it definitely is dirty. So, that's it. Let's get to a wash. All right, let's get started again. I'm I'm telling you, this foam is amazing how well, I mean, it just, that's a good amount of foam to stick to this uh, ceramic coating like that. So and then I'm going to go over with my towels and I'll show you, tell you how slick it is, give a review of it, and pretty much rinse it off and tell you how it is. So now I've let the foam sit for about four minutes, and so it's worked in. Now I'm going to power wash it off and I'll bring you in and I'll show you how the pre-rinse is done. So overall, it's done a really good job of getting the dirt off that I can see so far. I'm going to stop this real quick. I'm going to go rinse off the other side of the car. And I'll bring in, I'll show you what we're looking at before we do a touch wash. So, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so I just wanted to bring you back in here. 
This is uh, after I did the pre rinse. It's looking a lot cleaner. A lot of the dirt came off. It's looking really good. It's trying to. It smells so good. I can't explain how good that cherry smell is. And again, remember this car has 318,000. 308 miles on it right now. So. Yeah, so this truck's been through a lot. But it's still looking really good. And it's really got off a lot of the dirt with that pre rinse. Because again, with this thing having 300,000 miles, I'm not going to get into the great guard, the two bucket, um, wash, multiple towels. Actually, what I will use is microfiber towels to wash this off because that way you can swap them in and out. Because I don't like the idea of a wash mitt. Even if you have one for the top and one for the bottom, I don't like that idea that much. But overall, this is how it's looking. So we stop here. I'm gonna foam it up again. I'll show you that, and then I'll wash it. I won't. I won't show you guys that because it's boring. Um, but yeah, we will go from there. I'm pretty good so far. So right here, I have one of my microfiber towels. I have some soap on it from the foam cannon. And let me tell you, it is slick. You can already just feel it right there. It's amazing how slick that is. It's trapping the dirt inside this towel really well. And you get, the best part I love about foam is just the ability for it to pick up the dirt and then you to be able to trap it in the towel better. You don't have to do that. But I mean, it's absolutely amazing how slick it is. So I'm going to finish going over the whole car and then I'll bring it back in after I rinse it off and I'll tell you how the final product looks. So I just finished up washing the car with Jay Leno's vehicle wash and I have to admit I was pretty impressed. This stuff smells really good. It does smell like cherries. It's slick. Um, overall it does a really good job. It definitely did remove that dirt fairly easily, softened it up so the power washer knocked it off. So I was impressed about that. It was slick. I mean, it's glossy as you can tell, so it looks really good. I'll bring you in here in a second and I'll show you a little bit of a close up. But overall, I think it did a really good job. Again, this stuff's a little expensive though. It's about 10 bucks for this little bottle. So I don't know if I'd go back for it, to it. But if you're not like someone like me, so you're not gonna go through a ton of it, maybe this is a better idea. But I mean, it does a good job. I mean, I'm not over overly impressed. I mean, the foam cannon let me down a little bit, but I think some of that might have been my foam cannon. But it's just I can buy a whole gallon for twenty bucks. So why am I gonna buy sixteen ounces for ten bucks? But this, I mean, unless you really like. This smell is like, it's good, but you're gonna think I love it or you're gonna hate it. I mean, it's really cherry, it smells like cherries. So, I'm gonna bring you in and show you the car. But I mean, overall, it did a really good job. Personally, I don't think I'd go back with it because I don't need to spend 10 bucks for a little bottle. But I mean, again, it did do its job, so. I mean, as you can tell, did a f really good job getting that dirt off. I mean, I like it, but again, this stuff's like 10 bucks a bottle. I mean, look at the shine. The shine's really good. But again, most soaps will give you that. So, you know. And, and that's the thing, it's supposed to be a premium soap. Um, it's in something about streaking, but I actually got some water spots. But I mean, that's because of the water, but, or should I say soap stains? I mean, they come off easy though. With uh, like a detail spray, so it's not bad. But I mean, overall, if you want to spend ten bucks and you want a good smelling soap, I'd go with this. But there's nothing here that tells me like, hey, this is better than the Chemical Guys. This, hey, this is better than the Guires. I mean, heck, Turtle Wax probably be up there. I mean, that's how disappointed I was in the foaming. So, is when I put something in a foam cannon. Switch as much of the product as I did, I expected a little bit more out of it. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.